Hello, here I am back with this week's follow along workout. Today I have a 20 minute kettlebell total body strength and conditioning workout. Uh, 40 seconds work followed by 20 seconds recovery. I'm not going to uh, waffle on too much with instructing the exercises because it's quite an uh, intermediate uh, advanced routine, more for the experienced kettlebell user. Um, I'm using a 24 kg, so you want to choose a weight that's going to challenge you but not hurt you. Never sacrifice technique. Uh, for the weight uh, so if you're a little bit unsure of some of these exercises you can check out the YouTube playlist for the tutorials some of them are in there or pending uh, let's do it then first exercise is the kettlebell swing two-handed swing <coughs> what a nice hinge technique you're not rounding the shoulders so as mentioned check out those uh, playlist YouTube, uh, YouTube playlists and you can check out the uh, exercise tutorials it's definitely a swing tutorial in there. One, two, nice hinge, drive up, brace for impact. Keeping that kettlebell nice and close to the groin, not dropping it below the knees, rounding the shoulders. Nice and consistent, every rep the same, hinge to put the kettle down. And as you'll notice, uh, breathing, breathing technique, concentrating on the exhale, uh, you're less likely to hyperventilate, <gasps> you're breathing, na you're inhale naturally, so we concentrate on that exhale. So I'm going to swing this kettle back into the goblet squat position, sit back into your squat one and two, same principle with the breathing, <laughs> recovery exhale, sit back one, two, three, <laughs> sit back into your squat, drive up through the heels, touch your back, your glutes, push through from the hips. There's your 40 seconds, rest 20, and we'll move to the next exercise, which is a single arm press, left side. It's the beauty of the kettlebell, there's no escape in that connected chain. Weaker side, the left side, I'm going to start with. Sit the kettle in the rack position, and engage the core, push down through the heels as you press the kettlebell. Arm in line with the hip. Stand up strong. Push your chest out. Rest, recover, repeat on the right side, which is my stronger side. So in that circuit format, get that weaker side out of the way. So I'm going to clean, rack, and press. Drop, absorb. Again, bicep finishes in line with your ear. Nice uh, alignment. Not out in this arm break position. Consistency again. Last rep the same as the first. Keep that core nice and tight. Engage your abs, engage, squeeze your butt. So our next exercise is uh, quite technical, kettlebell snatch, or you can just stick with the high pull. So I'm going to give you an option here. High pull, we're going to do one swing, same movement, hinge, 
push down the right leg, probably pull up the left. Looks like this. One, two, one, two. Same technique, everything comes from this swing. Even that countdown snatch. Half snatch, pull it down, recover, and repeat. Full snatch, a bit more advanced, a bit more technical, a bit more challenging. High pull. So it's a similar exercise. High pull into your snatch position. Uh, if you're struggling a little bit with that snatch technique, you can just modify it and use this high pull. Push down the left, up the right. One, two, one, two. Nice and close to the body. You're not arcing. Not arcing the weight onto your back. Vertical. Vertical. Same with the snatch. Vertical. Punch. Pull down. Half snatch. Recover. Repeat. Advanced, full snatch, great job, well done, dynamic exercise, most, one of the most technical exercises to cut about snatch. But as mentioned, everything comes from that swing technique, or from the hips, the powerhouse, thrusters, squat to press, sit back, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Well done. Toughy hybrid. Let's rush into the lower body, to the upper body. Now you see about these exhales. Really challenging for the conditioning. One, two, three, four. job well done so our next exercise is a rowing exercise a single arm row so like a split stance almost like a calf stretch now we're not rounding hinge hinge engage abs tight glutes tight and row one two Ideally an anti-rotational exercise, You're not twisting. Abs tight, glutes tight. Nice and controlled, consistent. Again, as I'm teaching, dem uh, demonstrating, which I said I wouldn't do. So, same on the right. So, what we've got to avoid is this round back. Not round.
rounding at the shoulders, tummy in, shoulders back, one, two, if you're unsure about these, uh, it's almost like a plank, if you're unsure about the plank alignment, yeah, go check out the tutorials. Nice and consistent. You feel your uh, uh, your back's rounding. Put the kettle down. Reset. Repeat or restart. So our next exercise. Write it down because I forget them all. Yeah. Reverse lunge. So I'm going to rack our left our uh, left side. One, two. Reverse lunge. Right leg. Opposites. One, two, three. Make it a little bit more challenging. You can add a press. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Similar to the thruster, the legs are assisting hips, glutes, the rest of us. Just stick with that reverse lunge. sticking with a reverse lunge because our next exercise is a clean and press so the shoulders are getting the right batter in but again you know if you're a bit more advanced or you're using a lighter kettlebell you can incorporate the press as well one drive up tense your butt good posture abs tight glutes tight again advanced challenge progress at the press one, two, three, four. Or again, just stick with that reverse lunge. Again, exhales. We don't want to be <gasps> not good for health. Speeds up the aging process. Chronic state of panic. Subconscious chronic state of panic. So breathing is key. Every exercise is a breathing exercise. Clean and press. So we got one. Two, three, and four. As mentioned, everything comes from that swing technique. Clean, press, swing, put down. Not rounding. Take care of your lumbar, your lower back. clean and press on the right side. One, two, three, four. Hinge. Down the left, up the right. Press. Push down the left, pull up the right. Puff ya. As mentioned, that breathing is a big deal. Next exercise, single leg hinge. Deadlift the kettle. Grip with the toes. 
weight onto the heel, hinge, keep your chin up, not rounding, one, counter balance, two, three, if you're struggling, shorter hinge, just to the knee, it's all about that hinge movement, glutes back, just your butt, chin forward, and over time, stability, improves, balance, to make it a single leg, deadlift, dead weight, Again, chin up, horizontal. So, slight edit, slight technical problem with the uh, camera there. So, all we're going to do now is continue with this single leg hinge on the right. Chin up, pick a spot on the horizon, hinge, squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes, which is your butt. Just test that hinge out here, it's just below the knee. Hinge movement. Single leg deadlift. One. Counterbalance. Two. Compose. Repeat. Well done. Single leg hinge. Next exercise, we have a lateral lunge with a clean kettlebell in the left. Lunge to the right, keep your chin up, one, counterbalance, two. So from the rack position, left side, right leg, one, two. Again, keeping it nice and close to the body. You're not arcing. Wall in front, nice and close. If you're struggling a little bit with the clean, just stick with that lunge. One, two, one, two. Again, not dropping that kettle below the knees, forcing you to round your back. Well done. And now I'm sure you've guessed. You see this pattern emerging. Repeat on the opposite side. So, lunge left. One, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three. Nice and close. Great job, well done. Two to go, I believe. Yeah, our rotational exercise. Figure of eight and punch. So, sit back, right hand to left, drive it up. Left hand to right shoulder, rotate. One, change. Right hand, left shoulder, rotate. One, two, pivot the foot, elbow up. Three. One, two, three. So I'm going through the legs. Right hand, left hand, right. Right hand, left. If you're struggling, just stick with a standard kettlebell rotation. Rotating from the rib cage. Let your lower back follow. Well done. So it's through the legs. Left hand to right shoulder. Rotate. Through the legs. Right hand. Left shoulder. Rotate. And our final exercise, we are going to do a deadlift from the heels. Chin up. One. High pull. 
two, three, four with a sprawl. The finisher. Final exercise. Make sure you reset your back. High pull. Drive up through the heels. Abs tight, glutes tight throughout. Finish it off. Well done. There you have it. 20 minute total body kettlebell strength and conditioning routine. As mentioned, slight edit there. I'm not sure if I had enough, uh, enough storage or I got a text message come through, something like that. But I didn't run off and have a, have a break, honest. I didn't have a cup of tea. I carried on straight through, which is what you're aiming for. So as mentioned, find a weight that's right for you. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments box below. I'm off for, uh, I'm gonna do a body weight fat burning circuit now to follow and then a cool down so don't forget your warm-up and cool downs i'll see you next week because each and every week we've got a brand new workout for you to follow anybody can do it